that the latest inflation data suggests the cost of living crisis is still with us when you look at the, the rate of inflation. This is just showing you how fast prices are rising on an annual basis. You can see that big increase up into double-digit figures there. We're down there. We're kind of flatlining uh, at that kind of 6.7%. However, the government's target, of course, is to try to halve inflation. Now, where is that line going to go? If you look at the Bank of England's forecast, it is likely to go down faster than that. So basically, the government would meet its target. But even so, there's still a lot of pain for households uh, and a lot of question marks uh, over those forecasts, particularly when you look at the breakdown of what's happening with inflation. This is showing you goods and services, core goods and services and goods prices, so the stuff, physical stuff we're buying, going down quite fast. You can see, actually, well, the inflation rate going down quite fast. But how about services? You know, when you're going out to restaurants and so on, haircuts, that's still really high. And economists are quite worried about that. And there's another thing that's worrying economists as well, which is what's happening with the oil price. Of course, what's happening in the Middle East at the moment, a big part of the story here. We're just going back a few uh, weeks here, and you can see just how much oil prices rose when you had those initial attacks on the 7th of October. And again, have a look here. You can see when there was that hospital uh, explosion, you had oil prices going up further as well. And that's a real metric for what's happening right now. Markets concern about the current uh, situation in the Middle East. That, of course, could feed into inflation uh, as well, further increasing pressure on many families.